Hey, this is Peter. Welcome to another Take a Break with Valley Cat. Now you might be sitting there going, wait, Peter, um, why are you holding a guitar? I thought this was meant to be a SolidWorks demo, not a musical audition, right? Well, you're right. This is meant for a SolidWorks video. Don't worry. Um, but we are actually gonna use this guitar that you see normally hanging up behind me for the example of today's Take a Break video. And the command that we're gonna work through today is this thing called a split line. Now you might be sitting there going, why the heck would we use a split line with a guitar? Well, stick around and you'll find out in this video. So go get your favorite cup of coffee or tea, and I'll see you in SolidWorks in just a click. And while we're waiting, why not play a little bit, right? I'll see you over there in a little bit. Hey there, welcome to SolidWorks. So here's the picture that I snapped of the guitar that I was playing, actually still playing for you in the background, um, but simply came in here, snapped a picture of my phone, and I threw up a tape measure on here just so I could have a scale factor to know how big to make this picture when I dropped it into SolidWorks. Now I'm not gonna go into the sketch picture command inside of SolidWorks because that deserves a video all on its own, but it's a really nifty tool if you do have geometry that you're referencing to sketch over. So after I came in, I made this picture in my SolidWorks system, I simply came in and did a boss base extrude. Now with this boss base extrude, I simply came in and did a mid plane extrusion and I extruded it out, I believe at four inches, give or take. Yeah, so four inches thick. Um, I'm not coming in measuring out how thick that really was. But after that, um, I, what we're gonna do is simply just hide this picture in the background because I don't really need to see it anymore. It was just for the sake of getting this guitar body. So simply hiding that. What we're gonna be doing here is we're, now we're gonna be setting up what's known as a split line command. And I haven't even shown you where this is at yet, right? So split line, if you come up underneath your features tab, and then from features, you come over towards the side here, and you'll see curves. Now I've shown you some other commands inside of this curves drop down here, such as projected curve and composite curve. The one I'll be working with, this one called a split line. And so what split line actually does is it will come in and it does exactly what it's called. It will split up a surface for you. And there's actually three different ways to do a split line. One of them is a silhouette, another one's projection, and the last one is called intersection. So that silhouette approach, this is really convenient. What it does is it actually takes a silhouette of a geometry and it'll put it onto a, um, where a plane might cut in and cut into it. It will project that onto there or, or show the profile, the silhouette of it. The one that we're gonna be working through in this example is actually gonna be projection, and I'll also show you intersection as well. So before we get moving on into our projection and so forth, let's show you these other sketches that we'll be working with. So sketch number five here is a simple circle. This circle is used for the sound hole that you might see on a guitar hanging behind me. That's where the sound gets projected out of the instrument, out of the cavity. Now you just heard me hopefully say cavity. So a guitar body, an acoustic guitar body is hollow on the inside. Currently, my model is solid. And we can do is a quick section view on here. And you can see that this thing is a solid body guitar currently. Yeah, not gonna work very well um, in the sake for a, an acoustic instrument. So what I wanna do is be able to hollow this thing out. Now, when I think of hollowing something out, I think of the shell command. Now, in order for shell command to work, you actually have to click on faces that you might wanna get removed, right? And so coming back in here, I wanna come in and utilize this sketch to split up this face so that way now I have a new surface to click on to hollow out this instrument. So coming up here to my curves, and we'll say split line, and let's do a projection. So with projection, it takes a sketch and it will project it onto a given face. So for instance here, sketch number five, simply click on that, the face I want is this one right here. And then simply say, okay to this. Now as I look at this, all right, good. And then didn't show up on the other side as well. Okay, so it only went one way, and also the only reason why it showed up on this face here was because that was the only face I selected. Now, if I came in here, and let's say I had a cylindrical object, well, that cylindr cylindrical object might wrap all the way around. SolidWorks has a way where you can actually project it in both directions at once, 
or you could say do a single direction and you verify which direction you want it to go. So that's in a scenario if you have a part much like this one here. So this is a cylinder here and let's say I have these set of sketches here. So with my split line, you'll notice here that I might have it set up to where with this unit here, we'll say, all right, let's come on my front plane or let's actually just select that sketch and we'll do curves, split line. From here, as I click on this one surface, you'll see that that wraps all the way around. If I say okay to this, you'll see it gets projected on both sides. So if I don't want it to do that, I simply edit this. I'll say single direction. And let's say I only want it to come on to this back side. Done. So now it's not on this side. It's only on this side. And I was talking about that other split that was that was called a um, silhouette sw uh, split, right? Well, let me just show you on this example here. Let me go back in time. And coming in here, we'll do split line. We'll say silhouette. On here, I'll say, hey, let's grab my right plane. Face I want is this one here. And simply say, okay to that. What this does is this will actually split this cylinder in half for me. So now I'm working with two separate faces. So I was showing you the silhouette and also having your uh, split line go on both sides of a cylinder. All right, so now that we got that set up on our guitar body, what we're gonna do is set up that shell command. So as I mentioned, shell works by clicking on a face and SolidWorks will remove that face and then all the way around that, it will set up at eighth of an inch. Currently, that's just because the params that I set up for my shell command to be an eighth of an inch thickness. Please, those of you that make guitars or are luthiers and so forth, please don't beat me up for this. I'm just simply saying a simple thickness here. All right, now I know that there's separate um, thicknesses on front, sides, and back, so please don't send me too much hate mail there. All right, so coming back in here, what we're gonna set up next is another split, and we'll just simply do a split that's for the pick guard here. So with sketch number six pre-selected, we'll say to curves and we'll say split line. Same setup from here. I can simply say, hey, I want to go onto that surface there. And then with that, simply say, okay. Now you'll see here that by me doing this, it did actually change my um, surface coloring here or the appearance that I applied. It's because I did really break up this surface here. Now with that new uh, split up of a surface there, I could come in and set up some surface modeling techniques. Like I could say offset surface from this. And now I could set up a thickness of the pick guard and make this as a single part file if I want to. And, and instead of making an assembly with a pick guard that gets glued on there. Okay, so that's one other approach to utilizing that split line. The next thing that we're gonna look at is coming in and let's say that we have a plane that's setting off on the side here. And I'll simply say show to that. So this plane is coming in and I made it so it's coming off at an angle of 105 degrees and it's coming seven inches off from origin. So the next style of split line that we can work with is this one that's called a um, intersection. And how intersection works is let's say I take this plane here that I created and I can say, hey, I want you to come on and hit this face here. I could also click this face and this face. By doing that, SolarX will come in and it'll split up all these faces for me, all based off of that one plane. So if I ever change that, that can clean that up. Now, why is this useful? Well, let's say that I do a delete face command. I could come in here, click on all these faces here and say, hey, you there, delete. Or if I say delete and fill, I could say, let's see what that looks like. Or I could say, let's do delete and patch, see what that looks like as well. So if we say delete and fill and we'll say tangent fill on it, there you go, that's how my geometry kind of looks with that command. It's a little funky, but that's just showing you that you can actually come in and do something like that. If I just simply say delete on there, I'll just simply come in and delete it. Now, the reason why it looks a little funky is because technically there's another surface already underneath this geometry. So I would actually have to do that split line on the inside geometry as well from the outside. So that's one thing to look at. Then the other style of split line that we'll do from this as well, I'm just gonna simply delete those previous ones there. Um, the one that we're gonna set up here is actually this split, this ellipse that we have here. That's kind of just, you know, it's on that plane, but I wanna project it onto this surface here. So what we're gonna simply do is come in, we're gonna edit that sketch first of all, and we'll just simply take this ellipse and we'll drag it over like so, and we'll drag this so it's vertical. 
Okay, I'm not really worrying about where it's located in this scenario. I just want to make it so that it's living on top of my model. And then from here, I'll say split line. We're going to do another simple projection style. And I want to project it onto this surface alone. And then from there, I'll simply say OK to that. So I do want to point out that as we look at this here, that sketch kind of intersected inside of my model and it extended way up here. SolarWorks will take that and it will project it all across that given surface for you. Pretty awesome, huh? So that's just coming in and working through the split line in the scenario of a guitar body here. Um, you can use that split line for almost any scenario that you could ever think of. This is just one example of that. So hopefully you are enjoying that background music, but also enjoyed this take a break video as you learn how to utilize the split line command and the three variations of using that split line command. If you are enjoying these videos, please click that thumbs up button. Also click subscribe and also so you can get notified of future take a break videos and other videos that we are posting here at Valley Cat. Have a great rest of the day and make sure you learn something new.